Now, as three banks were placed under receivership in 2016, a latest report reveals that the Central Bank of Kenya profits went over the roof through reverse repos. As Joy Doreen Bira reports, the Central Bank is said to have made an impressive 44.6 billion shillings from the year beginning June 2015 to 2016. Dubai Bank, Imperial Bank and Chase Bank are three banks placed under receivership in Kenya in the course of the last two years, for lack of a better word, not meeting their financial obligations as required by the regulators' ethics, rules and regulations. It is a situation that destabilized the entire banking system, putting significant strain on their financial resources and capital, especially for smaller lenders. In 2016, bank rents created liquidity challenges, sending customers and banks into panic mode, with the central bank being the lender of last resort to balance their books. Between June 2015 and 2016, advances to banks, mainly through discounting of securities, grew to 44.679 billion shillings, compared to the previous year's 75 million Kenya shillings. This means the regulator disbursed loans 600 times more than the number disbursed the year before. This it did to address challenges posed by liquidity segmentation in the interbank market. Which also means that the regulator intervened to lend to banks that peers would not lend for fear of exposure. As a result, interest income jumped 181% to reach 11.9 billion shillings in 2016 compared to the 4.2 billion raised in 2015. Overall, in 2016, the Central Bank of Kenya injected some 551 billion shillings into the banking sector in order to achieve financial stability for the country. This stabilizing role did pay off eventually netting super returns, even if it may not have saved some of the troubled lenders. Joy Doreen Bira, KTN News.